Ah, uh, there's Tusk Love. That one's a little more saucy. I want to buy Tusk Love, please. <laughs> right this way. She leads you both to the back. Uh, she she plucks a copy of Tusk Love. There's a guy in it. Uh, did you two want to get anything? Oh yes, I want to buy the the Tusky Love one. Uh, that is also three silver pieces. No. We will hang out up here and just be weird. Okay. Hmm. All right. So as you guys spend the remainder of the evening waiting for this to transpire, some patrons come in, some leave. Uh, into you're reading through the book. Read the book, read the book. Oh yeah, I have the Tusk's love too. Mm -hmm. You go back and forth. <laughs> I read it and I keep looking at Ford like, oh. and then go back to it. Uh, it, it. I assume it's about some sort of orc love. It 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 is actually. Uh, <laughs> it, 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 it deals it deals with uh, uh, the union of of a half orc and the daughter of a traveling merchant um, as they they meet. <laughs> <laughs> they meet on the on the Amber Road up near Druvenlode, and it goes into a, a saucy union between the two. But they can't because what would the parents think? Yeah. What's the name of the half orc? Uh. <laughs> Oscar. Oscar. With a K. Oscar. With a K. Oscar. <laughs> What you reading there, Jester? Nothing, Oscar. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you worry about it. <laughs> oh man. Oh. Horace, we obviously have a, a lot to decide on. Perhaps it'd be better if you just stayed up in the room. I can do that. I can do that. I'll just lock myself in there and let me know if anything comes up. We have some reading if you like. I do. I'm going to just grab a copy of Tusk Love. <laughs> <laughs> Try and relax, but not too much. Oh, passed around. Oh, all right. <laughs> Horace gives you a long look of like, I learned a lot about you in the moment. <laughs> um, that's it. Other than that, I've just been bored and reading this book. Page turner. Yeah. Uh, Any favorite parts? Uh. No. <laughs> pictures are good? There aren't, there aren't any pictures. What the fuck are you reading it for, then? <clears throat> anyway. <clears throat> this is just like that scene in Past Club. Which scene? The scene where the ship is sinking and, and Oscar and Genevieve <laughs> <laughs> have to paddle to shore. It was Guinevere. Guinevere, that's what it was. She I was remember old. Oscar a lot oh, more. About it. Only Oscar was paddling in that one. It is sad when ships no. sink. It is. I'll oh run over God. and I'll, yeah. I'll kneel down next to Jester and pick up her head and pour a <laughs> health potion. <laughs> Put your tusk in there, Ford. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, Oscar. <laughs> Ford. Thank you for saving me. It's Ford. <laughs> Sorry, I mean Ford. Yeah. I've, I've seen him, other half orcs with. The teeth. The guy in Tusk Love had them. He did. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever read? She does a good job. Tusk Love. Kiri. Oh, oh, no. oh no. You know what? Maybe Kiri shouldn't read Tusk Love I just yet. <laughs> Kiri, how old did your are your parents? You don't know how old they are. How old are you compared to most people that are like you? I think that means she's pretty young. I, yeah. Carrie, where do babies come from? <laughs> she doesn't know what the hell we're talking about. Yes, she does. Where do babies come from? <gasps> Your voice is very low, but yeah. Is that how I sound? You kind of do sound like that. Wow. <laughs> okay. I'm going to um, just spend the evening telling Kiri basically the story of Tuskla. Oh, God. But the I mean, she history. doesn't have to read the it. I can leave history. out the really dirty bits. I fall asleep like 20 minutes in, just kind of drooling a little. Kiri is just enthralled. It's the most beautiful love story you've ever heard in your entire life, basically. <laughs> yeah. Yeah.
Yeah. <laughs> I draw pictures. I draw pictures of it, you know, to like illustrate if what you, I'm talking. If you could see a blackbird blush. <laughs> what book are you reading, Mama? Oh, nothing. She kind of tucks it under. Just keeping my mind busy. She grabs her book and starts reading for the on the counter. <laughs> Can we see the cover once she grabs the book? No. Uh, actually, this is the plain leather. It's dusk Yeah, it's definitely dusk Yeah. Okay. You know, I'm obviously just a little bit jealous, but uh, I don't want to take you away from your reading time. Make perception check. Nine. You can see there's a little bit of text, like just barely visible at this proximity to the cover of the book, but you can't make it out in this low light. With a U, with an S, with a K, yeah. with the T, with an L. She takes, S with a K. she takes it and closes it and puts it beneath the counter. I leave two gold on the counter before I leave. For you, no matter what. But if you tell me what it is, I promise I won't tell the rest of them. I just want to lord it over them. She palms the two gold. It's called feathered leather. <laughs> Enjoy your evening. Sorry. <laughs> Maybe they're just trapped here. They're, I don't think, I don't know. They haven't done anything to us yet. Hi, I'm going to pull out Tusk Love and just start reading it to them. <laughs> just loudly. <Good> call. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. <I'm> safe. <clears throat> so true. Okay. So carrying on for the next 20, 30 minutes or so, as Jester loudly reads outward into the open, cold air of the valley at the base of Kravarat. Kravarat needs a little steaminess to heat it up. You do watch as more figures begin to appear at the peripheral. There's that same woman who's kind of almost to the front, and you see three other figures, and then there are six, and there are twelve. And they're all just drifting in a semicircle behind you, following. Do I recognize them? They love I'm the gonna... They love the porn! I think it's a page turner! <laughs> You're drawing an audience. Pied Piper of Smog. Okay, that, they're not happy. I I don't, going. Maybe I should not read this book anymore. No, it seems, to, well, I don't know. It, Distractions are good, let's keep going, keep reading. Mm. Yeah, you want to get going It's on. not. Yeah. Just for fun, one more detect undead, just to see if there's anything beyond what we can see. Okay. Read the uh, part where he plunged inside of her again. Oh, okay. <laughs> whoa. That was you, a good part. <laughs> <laughs> you uh, tune out the sequence that Jester is loudly professing amongst the audience. Um, as, you, as you close your eyes, you sense dozens and dozens of entities around all of you. Jester, do you want to pause your reading for a minute or two and see if that has any difference? Just, sure. just finish this one sentence, though. And it was real deep. <laughs> He didn't, didn't say it was a good book. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we keep well, that's reading. Quality writing. And it was real deep. <laughs> Fanfiction.net, wow. number three. Right. Best oh, man. story in wow. 2004. That's where you got it. Reskinned Gargoyles fanfiction. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, you finish the phrase and pause for a moment <laughs> and continue to walk in silence for another few minutes. As you do, you watch the spectral figures begin to pull back into the mist and disappear. Oh, they did just want to hear about it. Maybe they just missed the Wait, sounds they, of the living. They stopped following us when she stopped a few. The number of them are still there, but the numbers have dwindled. Where oh, once there really was like maybe a couple dozen figures in the mist that were drifting behind you, now there's about eight. Maybe we should start again. Shall we push on? Yeah. Yes. All right. Do you continue reading, or do you remain stop? What do you want me to do, you guys? I mean, the ghosts did seem a little horny, so maybe. I'd say, all things considered, uh, I'd rather have happy ghosts than unhappy ghosts, and they seem to, I, perhaps not loudly, but continue for the. Oh. I've been finding it. I've been finding it oddly comforting. Maybe just Probably pause sure. it for now and not broadcast our location as we're walking. Neutral? Oh, positive? Neutral, yeah? Just they look they seemed naturally ghastly. Expressions unchanged, slack-jawed, 
eyeless, sunken sockets. Uh, you haven't gotten very close, but from like the 30 foot distance that you have a view of most of these entities, they just kind of drift. I, yes, but well, what about I, their I got, I got a good look yeah, their tents? Roll a perception high? check. Were they it's super high? I'm trying to build an atmosphere. I rolled pretty good. 11. 11? <laughs> They have no genitals. Unfortunately, <laughs> their spectral forms do lack definitive genitals, but your imagination helps you imagine that, sure, maybe the half of them are pitching a tent. Wow. Ghost okay. Ghost. Ghost. Um, Ghost. I got, I got a sequel actually to test. I got a, I got a, a good, a good look. Oh God damn it! I love this so much. I'm going to say, let's continue to show them whatever respect we can. This is a little. I refuse to. I refuse to believe that, that that this is here to harm us. By respect, do you mean reading smut or not? I think reading smut. Okay. <laughs> I, okay. Okay. Let's keep. Going. I'll read it quieter. Yeah. Skip to the good parts. I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that's not. <laughs> oh, but it's okay. That's a, that's it's very. It's building tension. Let's keep going. Okay. Okay. Never. okay. Okay. And he ripped open her bodice. <laughs> it's like five gold of it. As you're reading, the numbers begin to swell once more to about 30 or so entities keeping on the outside, the outskirts of your travel group. One by one, they all vanish entirely into the mist. That single female figure that you first encountered, the last one standing before disappearing. She stayed for the whole reading. <sighs> Biggest fan. Yep. She might have written it. <gasps> I don't remember. Who's the author? Uh, Matilda Mercuria. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Who doesn't be like her? a book club? <sighs> Maybe we should just come back here once a week and read to them. It seemed like we were reading to them, or Jester was reading them. Past glove, I held up the book. Oh no. You see, Tyler goes, I haven't read that one. What's, what's that one about? Oh, it's really good. Do you want to borrow it? I mean, for as long as we're here, we're going to be here all night, maybe? Okay, good. Uh, it... Have you read Ghost Dick? <laughs> Same author. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, well, if you guys are going to Uthodurn, if you could pick me up a copy, maybe, if yeah. you're coming back. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's a crime yeah. story. Yeah, you Very love rare, it. very rare. It's hard to find. Tyla right. is completely um, taken with uh, <laughs> Tusk Love. Oh, good. Then she's going to enjoy what I wrote in the book that she let me <laughs> Oh, no. I saw it happen. Oh, I saw what it What did happen. you write in the book? Oh, I just wrote a wonderful story about um, Petunia and um, her lover, Captain Tusktooth. <laughs> And their adventures on the high seas. <laughs> God, this campaign is so grimdark. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <that's cool. laughs>